Good morning everyone! I just wanted to give you something else to look at. It's Melody Lane here! And it is morning! Yes, it's morning. Finally! This vlog is for all of you camera makers out there. I want a new vlogging camera. Like, I want a vlogging camera. I can't even find one I want. Just because everyone else says they use the Canon PowerShot or whatever, I, there's still reasons why I don't want it. Okay, this is to Canon, Nikon, Kodak, Samsung. Right now, I'm using the Samsung Galaxy S4 front-facing camera. I want a vlogging camera that has a front and back-facing camera that are both good. I want it to easily fit in your pocket so we can take it out when we're getting our hair done. It's a good camera on both sides. And a button that we push to switch cameras from the front to the back without stopping the video. So I can switch and I don't have to like turn my camera around back and forth. I want it to block out wind noise. I want a camera that will show up better in low light. I want an LED light that will brighten things up, but not blind me. I don't know where the camera is facing, if it's at my face or not, because I can't see the screen. I want a camera I can hold right in front of my face, but look like it, my arm is extended. I want my camera in metallic purple sparkly. You should make one in hot pink. Maybe Hello Kitty and zebra print. You could charge more for those too. And yes, girls want to vlog too. And red and blue for the guys. And I want to be able to take video with the front and back camera. Yeah, oh, did I mention? Yeah, I want a front and back camera and I want them to be both high quality. Like 13 megapixels. Like my phone. Like my phone, my Samsung Galaxy S4. If they can put all that into my little phone, you can put it in a camera, and I'm not taking no for an answer. And I want to be able to take video on the front and back at the same time, with just one audio, but two videos. So I can cut the video and show what I'm looking at as I'm talking about it. You can do a picture in picture of both views. Yes, you can do it. And I want it all for under $100. I know you can do it. And if you don't, the other guys will. So you better get started. Do you think you can have it out by Christmas? It is possible. I don't believe that you, can, that you don't know how. And I also want the option of just using one camera and then switching to the other camera by touching a button or touching the screen in some way without the video stopping. I wanted to have Wi-Fi so I can upload it straight to YouTube or have an app on there to upload it to the box.com. Okay, this is my phone and I have problems using my phone because this is where my camera is. <laughs> I don't really like it there because I can't hold it with this hand. I have trouble holding it with it unless I'm using the back, but when I'm using the front facing camera, which is not a good camera, and you need to step that up. And I don't want to have to hold the camera and maybe get my fingers in the way, okay? So, I want some like, some that like pulls out of it and you stick your finger in it. And you stick your finger in it. And maybe you stick your finger down here, something to where it will hold it in place. Yeah, I think you can manage that. This is a really big screen. The screen does not have to be this big. The camera does not have to be this big. Maybe a 2.5 inch screen? I'm not sure. I'll leave that up to you guys. It would be really awesome if it had a handle or something, like a stick. <laughs> something. Maybe a tripod that pulls out of it somehow and stands it up. I would also like the tripod fitting on it on the top and bottom. Yeah, on both. That would be awesome because I can hang it up with my Gorilla tripod and hang it up on things and it will be upright 
and I don't have to maneuver it so much if I could just have it on something. And maybe some attachments to attach it to the car, maybe the vent thing or something. Attachments would be awesome. I want an LED on both sides of the camera. The camera does not need more than four times zoom. I'm not asking for a lot here. It doesn't need any storage, as long as it fits any size SD card. So we can put like a 32 or 64 SD card inside. I'm not asking for a lot. I want to be able to touch the screen when I want to take a picture. I want to be able to write on that picture so I can make it a thumbnail for my video on YouTube. I want special effects software so I can put a title at the beginning of the video and at the end of the video and upload it to YouTube right from my camera. This camera is for vlogging. We're sticking it in our face. We're not taking a view of the mountain. It has to be 1080p. And yeah, I still want it for under $100. If you don't think you can do that, then maybe you need to get a sponsor of some kind, like maybe YouTube. Put a big old logo right on the back of it, YouTube, or it would be really cool if it said as seen on YouTube or watch me on YouTube. So when we're walking down the street vlogging, people will see that and know what we're doing. You could call the camera the vlogger. I want it to be voice operated to say record and stop. Dear Canon, hey Nikon, hey Polaroid, Panasonic, Samsung, all of you camera makers, Olympus, Fuji, any of you, are you listening to me? Do you know how many vloggers there are on YouTube? Do you know how many people would buy this camera? Do you realize how many searches there are for vlogging camera, best vlogging camera, good vlogging camera? What camera do you use for vlogging? Make it easier. Make a camera just for vlogging and call it the vlogger. Now get busy. Okay, for all of you vloggers out there that are viewing this video, please leave in the comments below what you want to see in a camera for vlogging. This is not a camera for taking pictures of your baby. This is a self-portrait camera for vlogging. Pictures and video for under a hundred dollars. I know it'll be $99.99 That's okay. Okay. Now go now go get started Make this camera because if you don't make this camera somebody else will and they're gonna beat you to it You don't even have to advertise it. All you have to do is send it to the top vloggers to use to vlog with They'll show it to their subscribers and they'll all want that camera. Then, when people ask, well, what camera do you use? Well, duh, everyone uses the vlogger, right? Because that's for vlogging. I'm not asking for a camera to take pictures of a wedding or pictures of the baby or the kids. Just a video camera for vlogging. I have cameras for other things. And I want to be able to charge it with a micro USB. So I can charge it in my car, I can charge it with my phone charger. I don't have to be connected to a wall outlet to charge my camera. My phone? The camera's over here. But I am always looking at the monitor here. So here's an idea for the next camera, maybe the Vlogger 2.0. Put the camera behind the screen. So we look at the screen and the camera at the same time. And don't tell me that's not possible. I know it is. You're probably already working on it because the other guys are. Thanks for watching. Oh, and feel free to send me the camera, a camera that you think is suitable for vlogging. And if I like it, I'll do a review because I only do reviews on things I like. Thanks for watching. And if you're a vlogger and you want this camera also, give me a thumbs up and a comment and tell me what you want to see in the camera. And I'll see you tomorrow in another video. Bye! Dollar store. And I just have to show you this because they have like lots of Halloween stuff for a dollar. But then look, this stuff.